Hello, I'm Adele, a legal assistant at uh, T. Sosa and Sean Law Group. Today, I want to introduce you to our bankruptcy attorney, Elias T. Sosa. Hello, Adele. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How about you? Good, good. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I'm very pleased to see you here. So what's going on? Um, I'm curious to know about you. So I'm going to ask you questions about your early life before I become a lawyer. Sure, sure. Definitely. Where are you originally from? So I am from India. Uh, I grew up in a small village on the west coast of India. And then my father brought me to Bombay. It's a big city mm -hmm. when I was nine months old. And that's where I lived for 17 years. So I grew up in a big city and went to a Catholic school. That is awesome. Yeah. You could have uh, chosen Europe and Canada. Why did you choose to come to the United States? So ever since I was six years old, I always heard about America as a land of opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, always heard about the possibilities that are in this country, the business, uh, to earn a living, peace and justice and democracy. And I always, always, it was my dream to come to America. That is yeah. awesome. You are successful almost everything you do in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, who are your uh, role model that have inspired you in life? So my parents were, uh, were my role models uh, when I was growing up. Uh, we did not grow up in a rich family. So I used to always see them struggling uh, and uh, they always worked hard and they always wanted to improve. Every other day was better than the previous day. They always tried to give us good ethics, good values, good morals, mm -hmm. and they always tried to uh, uh, tell us positive things on how to improve our life every day. Yeah. That's a so inspiring story. Uh, why did you decide to become a lawyer? So, uh, when I came here in the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I opened up many businesses. Uh, however, we never had money to ever hire lawyers. And uh, a lot of contracts that we have signed, leases, and mm -hmm. very complicated. Uh, most people who have not gone to law school can never understand any of this language. And because of that, we have got into some trouble many times because none of our contracts were ever uh, uh, seen by a lawyer or uh, we never got advice from anybody. And one of the main reasons is because we could not afford a lawyer. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, sorry. what did you do before uh, attending law school? Uh, when I came to, the, uh, to America, uh, my first job was on a cruise ship. So I worked for cruise ships for mm -hmm. almost 15 years. I worked in hotels, in the front desk. Um, then I bought uh, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin mm -hmm. Robbins, Precision Tune Auto Care Centers. Mm -hmm. So at one given time, we had between nine and 15 businesses that I was running with my brother, yes. Wow, that's mm -hmm. so wonderful story that you were able to own your business just been a few years in this country. Yes. And you are perfect inspiration for many immigrants who Correct. aspire mm -hmm. to achieve the American dreams. Yes. So this is this is uh, one of this. Uh, this is really a land of opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yes, I did make my dream come true here. That's amazing. Yes. What is the most important skills you have learned being the first year as a law student? As a law student, uh, the first year, basically, the law school teaches you the concepts of law, the origins mm -hmm. and how did law evolve over time? And what is the source of the law? Uh, at the same time, they teach you how to read and understand and analyze mm -hmm. issues. Analyzing is the most important thing that you learn in law school. Uh, if you can analyze uh, uh, issues, uh, it helps you in your personal life, in your business life. Mm -hmm. If you're working for somebody, you can also work, uh, analyze situations. So that's the most important thing you learn in the first year of law school. That's so great. There are many aspects of law that could have practice. Criminal law, real estate law, tax law, immigration law. Why are you so passionate about bankruptcy law? So bankruptcy law is very close to my heart. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I got into trouble, financial trouble, just like most of my clients are. 
uh, and I wanted to get rid of my debts. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, somebody said, why don't you file a bankruptcy? So I went and saw several uh, attorneys, uh, uh, actually five of them, uh -huh. and all of them still practice law along with me uh, in the same courthouse. And uh, nobody would take me as a client because I could not afford their legal fees. Mm -hmm. That's when I decided that uh, if I ever became a lawyer and if somebody came to me and said they could not afford their legal fees, I would not send them away. I would still try to help them. Uh, I know it's uh, important to make a living uh, earning legal fees, but it's also important to give to people who can't afford to pay legal fees. That is true. Yeah. They've been so inspiring for people. And I heard that some students have had problem to pass in bar exam. Did you find bar exam difficult? So, yes, bar exam, uh, uh, it is not the most easiest thing in the world, but mm -hmm. I did not find it difficult. Uh, bar exam is basically learning how to give and give tests. Yes, if you can, true. if you learn the skills on how to give tests, mm -hmm. You can definitely pass uh, bar exam. Uh, the bar exam is not uh, a measure of the amount of knowledge you have about the law. It's That's all true. about giving tests. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to practice, practice and practice. So uh, a month before the bar exam, if you do a lot of practice exams, you're 100% guaranteed that you will pass the bar exam. Wow. Yes. What is your secret to a successful life? One of the most important things that uh, I think I have is a very positive attitude. Mm -hmm. The second one is discipline. And I'm also consistent and I'm also focused and I'm also persistent, which means I don't give up very easily. Mm -hmm. That's why if I decide that I want to do something, 100% of the time I succeed. Yeah? And uh, I always tell people, don't ever give up. As long as you're trying, there is no way you can fail. It's only when you stop trying, that's when you fail. That is true. You're a perfect inspiration. Thank you. Uh, you have been very so hard working, always care about your clients. And um, do you remember your first job after um, accomplishing law school? Correct, yes. After I uh, graduated from law school, I applied to a lot of big, big law firms. Mm -hmm. But nobody would hire me. Oh. And uh, I realized why. Because when I graduated, I was not 25 years old. I was actually 41 years old. Wow. And big, big law firms are looking for lawyers who are 25 years old. I see. And uh, so I had a very difficult time getting my first job. Mm -hmm. But then I got an opportunity at a small law firm, one person law firm, solo law firm, uh, by an attorney by the name of David Marshall Brown. He took me under his wings, he mentored me, and everything I know about bankruptcy law, I learned from him. That's so yes. great story. How long had you been working for the David Brown before you opened your first law firm? So I worked for David Brown for about three years. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I opened up my own law firm and I've been on my own ever since. So this is my 20th year that I've been practicing law. That's so awesome story. What changes have you made to your office to connect with your clients and potential clients during COVID-19? So COVID is uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a very abnormal thing. It's not uh, the normal things that we go through. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. Uh, initially, I had a hard time adjusting. But after a couple of weeks, again, it comes to analyzing. Mm -hmm. And we analy analyze the situation and we put other things in practice. We started using technology. Mm -hmm. So I do all my consultations with WhatsApp, uh, FaceTime, Zoom, phone, all the communication happens by texting, emailing, even our clients are trained to send us documents by email. Mm -hmm. So we never have to see them actually. And once we started adjusting to these things, the law firm runs like a charm. That is yes. awesome. How people can find you for the first time to make appointment with you? So, that is a hundred million dollar question. <laughs> How do people find me? That's right. Well, like everybody else, mm -hmm. people go to Google and they look for a bankruptcy attorney or somebody who defends foreclosures. Mm -hmm. And that's where, I, that's where they can find me usually. Wow. 
the second uh, place that uh, usually people find me is uh, referrals. A big uh, uh, number of our clients, almost 50% of our clients mm -hmm. are all referrals, referred by other clients who have been my clients before. Mm -hmm. Sometimes clients have not even retained me, but they still refer people. So referrals is a big source. Google is uh, also a big source. Mm -hmm. That's so That's wonderful. A, yeah. Um, you really working always. I see you working so hard, and oh, how questions like why are you working so hard? Well, I don't know what hard work. Uh, what do you mean by hard work? But uh, I love working. Mm -hmm. It's very important. I care about my clients, and uh, I'm always available to them. Uh, of course, I can tell you honestly that uh, I cannot make hundred percent of my clients happy. Mm -hmm. So there has been one or two clients in the last 20 years who, for some reason, maybe lack of communication, or have not been happy with me. Uh, but we have at least 90, 95 to 99% of the clients are very happy with us because we do care. We care about them. We mm -hmm. care about their financial affairs and we want to help them through their difficult times and get them a fresh start. That is awesome. What are the most important skills to become a successful lawyer? Uh, one of the biggest uh, skills that you need to have is you need to learn to care about people. Mm -hmm. Clients are not, not just dollar signs. They are people with emotion, with, with issues that they are facing about their finances or legal matters. You have to care. Everything starts with care. That's right. Once you start caring about them, then you will communicate with them. Of course, after you do that, you definitely need to be diligent and competent you know, to practice uh, uh, law, to help them uh, get a fresh start, or whatever their other legal issues are. That is oh. awesome. Thank you, Elias. Oh, sure, you're welcome. It was my yeah. pleasure to meet you today. Yes, and I'm so glad uh, that uh, you are interested in asking me these questions. Yes, yes. I'm so glad to meet you and know better about you and uh, how you came to this country and your inspiring story. Thank you, yes. Thank you. <laughs>